the key face. I I will never forget that face. It's so detailed. It's so damn detailed. So we're fighting Dark Side. Which we don't know the name of yet actually. Okay. I just I just spoiled it for you guys. Yay! Yay me! Okay, this attack is the best thing. It, it pretty much kills himself using this. But he also summons shadows, which honestly could potentially mean you could grind up to level 99 in this one fight. Yes. You'll probably accidentally kill him before then, but theoretically, yeah, you could do that. Would you ever do that? You'd spend freaking forever doing so. But I just leveled up because of those shadows, so you want to kill them, but you don't want to really stall them out because it's really useless. Also, you can counter those things, and I'm trying to show you that. But it's not really working out. Can I please counter something already? Okay, I'll show you later on. And I just got 18 experience for killing him. Because the balance between my voice and... Oh yeah, I should mention that in a second. The balance between my voice and the game audio isn't really too, too great. So, you can see the HP bar in the top left corner. That's an ability called Scan that does that. I equipped that ability. You get it at level 9 if you choose the options in the beginning of the game that I did. And I grinded up to level 10 because I wanted this ability to show you Dark Side's HP bar. That, that's actually the case for a lot of different uh, enemies. I like the redesigned versions better than the original. For some, I don't like them though. The soldiers, for instance, I don't like the redesigned things for the re swap palettes. I don't know how to call them. The new colors for the soldiers, not amazing. But most bosses are pretty cool. And I'll, I'll pretty much for every Heartless we fight, I'll give you my opinion on their redesign. And what they originally look like and what I think is the better one. Because that's the way we're gonna do it. <laughs> just, just because that. That's the way we're gonna do it. No arguing. That, that's just the way we're gonna do it. Deal with it. This boss is fairly easy. You have to take out the arms and legs first. Like you can see I can't do any damage anymore to the body until I take out this arm first. The arms and legs drop HP which on lower level really is necessary. It isn't so much now though. And I think I took out everything now. Um, yeah. Camera's fucking up. Good. I can take him out now. No problem. And one more hit. Good. And Donald leveled up. Max HP. Blizzard. Blizzard the fuck out of him. Doesn't reach him. Well, in that case, fire him to death. Well, that's all my MP gone. Well, this is going rather well. <laughs> Didn't expect it to go down this easily. That's half an HP bar gone almost. Uh, this is really easy. I didn't expect to have this easy of a time with him. Well, in Chain of Memories, I'm gonna have a hard time with him. I know that much, because that gameplay sucks. Almost a bar down. Wow. Let me... Okay, he's gonna be spinning the table. Let me lock onto him, walk away for a little bit, and fire him again. A couple times. I think he is resistant to fire a little bit. I think he takes just 50% damage for elemental stuff. I'm not entirely sure. For yeah, I, I don't really know. I'm just trying to beat the crap out of this guy. And it's working rather well so far. I mean... Yeah. Give me one more hit on him so that I can... Refill my MP. Oh, I don't I don't need to worry about healing. That's what Goofy does for me. Good. Fire him twice. Three times apparently. I don't know where the third time came from, but it works, I suppose. And he just Did he just break that chair? I can't get up the table now. Um I don't remember that in this fight. I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. 
then again, I have not played this game in years. That's not true. I've, I've played this game for my channel in, like, half a year ago? Not that long ago. But I don't think I even came this far into the game. Because I was stuck. And the emulator didn't cooperate and stuff. But I'm playing this on a PlayStation 3 now, so no emulators fucking up. Come on. I know desperation move and stuff, but wow, they you instantly heal me there. Their AI has improved so much. I remember them never healing me, even though they could. Strength up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Showed you yet, but you can skip scenes if you want to. I should have packed some potions. Um, probably gonna need them. Well, if I need them, I'll die. If I don't need them, I don't need them. <laughs> it's that easy. Let's thunder them. I say them because it's three hats, but really, him would be a... Is it a... I mean, I guess it's a male dog thingy, whatever it is, Cerberus. Three added dog? I really am afraid because I don't have any potions and Donald doesn't have cure just yet. And shockwave time. Now they're probably gonna puke darkness like I thought they would. They are not, they'll continue biting us. Okay, um, I'm not complaining because the darkness puking is kind of annoying. Uh, one more shockwave and now he's gonna puke darkness. Yeah, he is gonna puke darkness. Well, I'm just running away. Goofy, you can you can do the damage for now. I'm gonna wait until the darkness puke runs out. And it just has run out, but he is... I don't even know. That's not even puking, is it? No. He's doing something rather with fire. I, and he pukes darkness again. Amazing. You can get back up on his back. Get up on the... I dress back. <laughs> Get up on Cerberus's back and you can avoid the darkness puking thing going on. That's a really good idea. He's gonna bite! I was not expecting to be that close to him. No! Okay. Thunder. Thunder. Really have to watch out now because no one is able to heal me. He only has like half a bar left. Shockwave time! Puking darkness time, I'm guessing. Yeah, he is gonna puke darkness. Which will probably instant kill me, so I really don't want that to happen. I want to get up on his back to show you that you can avoid his attacks like that. But he won't let me, probably. No. Oh, did I just... And now I have to dodge roll away again. Oh, he's, he's gonna kill me. There's no way I'm surviving this. Oh, okay. So now I can attack him again? No, I want to attack, not magic. No, okay, close. All three of them by together. All three of them buy together again. Ah, hit him twice. Shockwave! And hit him with thunder, hit him with thunder! Damn it, I was drinking water. Where did you get that HP though? This fight can be a little more difficult, because he can hide in the bamboo thingies. But he probably won't get a chance to, like this. Yeah, he just did. And you'll lose your lock on him. Oh, you, you don't. I remember losing your lock on him, but apparently you don't, or not anymore. The thing is, this is the Final Mix and a HD Remix, so they could have changed things in Final Mix where I'm not aware of. Y yeah, oh no, I didn't even lose my lock there. Or maybe in the final mix that I'm not aware of. So they have two opportunities to change up things and I might sound like an idiot. Okay, so don't give a fuck about the Heartless, just beat the fuck out of Clayton. 
that's my strategy for this. Just beat the fuck out of Clayton. Also, sliding dash can help a little bit. Oh, so we're not beating the fuck out of Clayton. No, not not yet. We will in a second. Don't get me wrong, but not yet. Because he's gonna do this. He's like, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm gonna break this wall with my mind. And then he has a heartless. Yeah, and the heartless he uses is an invisible. Great. You don't actually have to kill the heartless. That's totally optional. Uh, yeah, but you might want to because that heartless will be a pain in the ass to kill otherwise. Uh, no, that heartless won't be a pain in the ass to kill, but Clayton will. Also, might I add that this is the best reskin in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. You want to use Thunder on them, but not get hit by Clayton. That's what I wanted to say. And he didn't even let me finish my sentence. How great of a guy is he? So, want to kill this thing first, because experience, and if you kill Clayton first, the battle is over. Also, he will be annoying if you don't. I'm, I'm thinking Goofy might actually finish off Clayton before I can do anything to this guy. Which I hope is not gonna happen. Okay, if he uses his eyes to attack, you are fucked. You are... Honestly, you're screwed. Also, Clayton can heal himself. Yes. Yes, he can indeed. Why can he do that? Because he's a jerk. That, that's why. He doesn't heal his Heartless, though, which is absolutely amazing. Only half of a bar left, and then his Heartless is gone. Clayton himself shouldn't m prove much of a problem. Thunder... Okay, I'm using the item. Okay. Should be able to take him out rather easily now. I can't because he's in rage mode. What? He has like 21 s'mores. And, okay, there's Clayton. There's Clayton. Thunder him a little bit and then attack him with your Keyblade. You can really do a lot of damage to him, if you're overleveled like I am. Which, you should be, really. Because being overleveled is fun. It's always fun in every game, because you kick ass. And kicking ass is you, pretty much the reason you play games, isn't it? To feel powerful and strong. I mean, that's what people say. Uh, I, a friend told me that once. I'm not on Earth. Yes, I am. But... Can we please finish this fight already? I want the finishing blow on Clayton, if you don't mind. Max HP up? Yeah, like you can notice, the max HP in this game increases rapidly. Is that an old friend of ours? Well, this is pretty easy to kill because he didn't get upgraded whatsoever. And that's not even being cynical, that's actually the case. They didn't upgrade him whatsoever, so it's really easy to kill this thing now. It was already easy to kill, it's much easier now. Oh, it's not the full battle. No, it isn't. <laughs> what did you expect? Did you expect this to be easy? Oh, no. Absolutely not. Because he changed his form. Because that wasn't even his final form. See what I did there? Yeah. And now he's opposite armor. Or reverse armor. I think it's opposite. We'll take a look at the entry in the journal afterwards. And now he has three HP bars all of a sudden. How did he get more HP by just changing his limbs around? I don't know. He's some kind of Raymond enemy now that I think about it. And another long animation, because we don't have another of those. We absolutely don't have another of those. There's a way to end this animation off, I just don't know how. I really don't, and I'm kind of sorry for that, but hey. Stop complaining. Okay, I think I missed that attack. Totally. Uh, proud roll. I can only do it like twice and then disappears and I don't have any magic! Potion, potion, potion. Good. Oh, Donald healed me. Donald has cure. Forgot about that. Donald has cure now, so he can take care of me a little bit, at least. I have to take care of him and his HP and MP. Uh, come on, let me... Let me at least kill those arms. Or I, they're his legs now, aren't they? 
Yeah, they are. <laughs> that that's weird. How his arms and legs are reversed. It, you have really, you have to think about what you say. I mean, it's clearly that it, that's his arm. I mean, it has fingers and stuff, and it really looks like an arm. But it's his leg with his toes now, and that almost killed me. Oh no! I think this is the only part left. No. Okay, only his body's left now, and he's getting really annoying now. Oh no! Not only his body's left. Um, he has his. Arms, legs, I don't even know what they are. Those things that were his legs over there are his arms now are still left. Can we please kill them because they are really annoying when they're flying because I can't fly. And that's kind of unfair. That's unfair. N not even kind of, that's really unfair. You know what? I I'm gonna complain about that. Because that makes the fight more difficult and I don't like difficult fights. Now honestly I don't, but... That, that's not, no, I, I do like difficult fights, I don't like unfair fights, and I don't think it's unfair because it gives you plenty of room to actually hit them. So, complaining about that isn't really fair in any way. But like I said, you can only use summons once per battle. Like I can see, I can't use summons anymore now, because I used them at the beginning of the battle, which I shouldn't have done. No, 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 you're not. Let, let's finish this with Thunder, just because. It really depends on luck. Yeah, you have to take out the front or the back. You can really choose. They share the same HP bar. And the middle parts are unnecessary to take out. You automatically take them out. Because that's the way this fight... That's just the nature of this fight. If you're just gonna be hitting them, you will at some point take out the middle barrels, things, pots. And now he's moving. He wasn't doing that last time I recorded, so... It's already slower now. Yeah, his front and back things move and they can do quite a lot of damage. If you just mash A button or, excuse me, X, <laughs> uh, or cross, I mean, yeah. I, however you like to call it that thing that's like your attacking button, y you can pretty much kill this thing. I'm having way more trouble with this than the first time around. Fuck your recording failing up. Failing up. Messing up or failing. Not failing up. Come on, one hit more, thank you. 250p. Heartless. Ah, he's been controlled by the Heartless. Same basic ID. You can use this part of his head, I don't even know what it's called, to get up on his head. Get up on the tiger's back. But if he's shaking his head like that, it's really annoying because you can't really do that. So can you please... Keep your hat still for a second for me to show. I don't know wh what it is about this fight, but it's really glitchy. I never know it's said in the original, but it's really glitchy in this version at least, so... There you go with your HD remix, it's making the game glitchy and shit. I'm not complaining because that makes it so exploitable. Say, uh, not safe, no cure. Attacking them gives you 2, H uh, 2 HP, 2 experience. I could have sworn it was more, like 20. Maybe it wasn't, maybe I'm just remembering shit wrong. Chances are that's actually the case. Because that happens quite a lot, me remembering shit wrong. Can we please hit this thing? I think I might have actually taken out the left eye by now. I would have to look. Yes, I have indeed. So, have I? I think I have. One way to find out, getting up on there. Okay, I think walking to the back here is not possible. So, I wouldn't say walking to the back here is an easy way of getting up on his head. Uh, not so much. Come on. Yeah, okay. Again, hitting the microphone quite a lot because recording setup is failing me. Pretty much like always. I want to show you this way up. Yeah, you, you can actually do this if he doesn't do that. It's really annoying when he does that. Can you please stop doing that? I want to show my audience something. Thank you. Also, did Goofy just say something when he died? I think he did. Can we... This is really a cool cinematic thing. It's not even a cinematic, but it looks really cinematic. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? No, you don't. 
Can we please? One more hit? Or oh, one more combo? I should know! Thunder! Thun... Cure! Thunder! Thunder! Combo pulls on the fans up. Good. I did not expect Thunder to actually work. Well, that worked. This boss fight is really hard because he flies around and sometimes you can't hit him. Well, you can hit him with Thunder, but Thunder really doesn't do shit against him. So, you really can't do anything when he's at a point where you can't hit him. Which he's gonna demonstrate right about now if I'm... Yeah! Oh no, 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 he doesn't. I'm being lucky today. I'm being lucky. That's good. I'm not being lucky. I am being lucky. Hello, Genie. How are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that when I'm here. Damn it. Well, that means he's stuck in here for a little bit, so I can combo him to death. And now he's gonna be flying away, isn't he? Yeah. Should have had combo plus. Equip. No, 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 no. Don't hit me with... Wow. That was close. I'm doing alright with this boss fight so far. Uh, where is he going? Where is he going? He is going somewhere where I can't hit him, is he? No, he isn't. I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky with this fight. I don't know why. Normally I'm not nearly this lucky. Well, he is moving back and forth a lot. And now he's fire at his stuff, which is no good whatsoever. And he's flying away again. Please don't fly to a point where I can't hit you because you are a bitch like that. Come on. What is Genie even doing? Honestly. Come on, hit me, Jafar. Hit me with all you've got. I'll hit you back. I'm doing alright. I'm doing pretty fucking good, actually. Hello, Jimmy. How are you doing? Uh, he's going to that one. It's really impossible to predict where he's going. That's the worst part about it. If you could predict where he's going, you could make this much more easy. Yeah, this one. No, not that one. Yeah, you can't hit him here. That, that's what I was talking about. You can't fucking hit him. You can hit him with Thunder. But that doesn't do too much damage. And that's been Thunder. Now I can only Mega Atha. And I don't remember him using the shield. Oh, that's because I used magic, probably. Yeah. That'd be it. Good. One more combo and I can finish him. No, so close. I never actually used too much magic against this guy, so that's maybe a possibility. When you use magic, he... Yeah, good. Max HP up. And he's a genie. A really powerful one on that. The lamp! Get your false lamp! So you can do damage to him in two ways. One is using blizzard magic. You can do damage to him directly. The much easier one though is damaging his lamp, which is with Iago. It's much easier to damage him that way. Also, I should really show you arrow. If you use arrow, your damage will increase a little bit. Or no, whatever you touch is, gets a little bit of damage and your defense will increase by... I think it multiplies by 2. It helps your, def it helps your defense, it helps the damage you take, I mean. So that's good, you really want that. Uh, still, I lost that arrow, I think. You pretty much want arrow on all the time, because it'll reduce your damage count and it's really not too bad in MP cost. So, yeah, that's, I'm, go I'm gonna try and do that. I always forget though, so don't get mad if I forget. Also, just one ball left at this point. Magic, arrow, more arrow. Where are you guys, Iago? There you are. Let me hit you. Let me fucking hit you. Okay, we're done. That's been it. I think Iago is going to be unconscious in a second here. Yeah, he's going down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you Jafar. 
Jafar really sees that we are killing him. And it's not even worth casting another arrow because one more combo and I'll be... I'll be dead. No, he'll be dead. And I want to show you... I want to show you Jafar. Well, that ain't happening. Okay, like always, let's start off with an arrow because that's how you fight bosses, isn't it? And now you can just mash the fuck out of this thing. Yeah, you can, no problem. Okay, he attacks a lot though. He really does. And you can't tag him if he uses two arms. One arm, yeah, you can tag that, you'll get three tag experience for it. But you can't tag his both arms together. Attack. Also, I should make sure to go to arrow, just like cure, because those are the two spells I use most, I think. Also, weird voice crack accent. It's more like accent crack than a voice crack, really. Uh, a weird spot is that isn't even accent of the language I speak, because the only languages I speak are Dutch and English. And that sure as hell wasn't a Dutch English. Uh, Dutch, Dutch English? That wasn't Dutch or English. Neither of them. That was like... I don't even know what it was. It was something. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't something. Maybe it was something from another planet. But that still is something, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty... I'm positive it is. Even if it's from like the moon, it's still something. It's just something from the moon. What am I even talking about? We have just defeated this guy now. And yeah, now. I learned God about damn time halfway through the fucking game. Yeah. I still to this day almost expect to fight Rigu there. I really don't know why. Well, I do know why, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can open his mouth, I think it is, to do some extra damage and then you can attack his head again. And he has like two heads, it's really confusing. So yes, yeah, st still to this day it surprises me that it's not really good there, the boss fights, even though I know what's gonna happen. It would s make so much sense if Riku was the boss fight right over here. And it would be a pretty epic fight too, I mean, this is a really good place to be fighting Riku. At least I think it is. Also, I've gotten um, down one bar, I think, by now. Yeah, more than one bar. And the second bar is to come right next. Arrow. Okay, I got a cure. I got the cure in a second here. Okay. Attack his ball in his mouth. I don't know what Square Enix was thinking when designing this boss, but it's really kind of weird. Also, did I even equip Combo Plus? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did, didn't I? And how do you restore so fucking quickly? Oh, I'm poisoned now. How great is that? Also, my MP went up. When did that happen? Certainly not complaining about it, but when did that happen? I did not see that. I am wasting a lot of opportunities for him to open his mouth. Every time you see his uh, body shock a little, you can hit him and he will open his mouth. Uh, he's not doing it now. No, 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 you're not. Yes, you are, apparently, okay. I got a heal. Maybe not. I think I am not gonna be able to open his mouth again. Because he is gonna die on one, two, three, one more hit. Thank you. Strength up. I'm not feeling too weak, but it helps. See, that's why I skipped it. But I realized, yeah, I'm glad playing this game. Probably shouldn't be skipping this. Uh, can I please? And that's why you need to do that. Because you can stun her and do a lot of damage to her that way. Also, Donald, oh, Donald already died. Well, that was quick. <laughs> and I'm overleveled as usual, so yeah. This shouldn't prove any problems for me whatsoever. Okay, I'm waiting for it to become red again. 
because that makes it a lot easier. Let's F on myself. Should do the trick. Please be red. No, you're blue, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Well, if I don't do anything, she'll be using her magic, which isn't really good. Well, it is good, but it's not good for me. It's really powerful. <laughs> yeah, that's what she does. The tornado thing. Well, it's not a tornado, it's a whirlpool, actually. Because we're on the water. But it looks like a tornado, just on the water. Yeah, okay. Now we are firing her ass off again. And let's do this the other way around, where we target her as low as this. Doesn't matter too much, honestly. Because at the end of the day, this is the way you are supposed to do damage to her. Stunning her and then beating the crap out of her. And did Donald just heal me? Because if he did, he's a nice guy. I mean, he's a nice guy anyway, don't get me wrong. But Okay, so let's wait for her to do a magic thing again. Throw a bottle in. And then we can attack her again. I think if she does blue, you can also do a good fire. Let's try that out, actually. Let's try that out. That's a good question. Can you do that? Looks like you can. Mega Atho. Fire. Yeah, that did the trick. Trick, yeah. And fighter again. Okay, so... The color doesn't mean anything. You can just use fire on it. Or thunder, or blizzard, whatever you feel like. But fire is uh, the best, I think. Maybe thunder, actually, because you can do it... Yeah, you can do it off of a distance. I think thunder might be the best option. That almost killed me. Uh, can we please item Mega Atha? And now uh, target that thing again. Throw your bottle in. Throw it in. Fire. Good. Oh, that killed her. Ish. Okay, I'm not using anything, any MP anymore for arrow because that's fucking useless. And that attack. Okay, so that attack is not even dodgeable. I don't think it is, at least. I am ready for anything you can throw at me because I have a strategy now. Well, I called a strategy and Donald healed me and Donald died. And Hyperbeam time! And recharge time, which means I can hit you. And I have to heal. Maybe Arrow isn't such a bad idea after all. Okay, maybe don't be as offensive as I am, that, that might help. No! I'm ready for anything except the hyper beam and the thunder thing to throw at me. And pretty much, I'm, I'm ready for anything except anything. Yeah. So, Donald, can you please heal me? Or heal yourself and then heal me? Oh, I, I don't need healing, because Mega Potion, obviously. And let's get the hell out of here. Heal for a little bit. Where am I even going? No? Leave me alone. Okay, I've got this. I've got this. Okay, I have not got this whatsoever. I am gonna die. Maybe I need some training. Maybe I need to grind a little bit before I can actually pull this off. That might be a good idea. But grinding in this world is a pain, so I might actually just... Just not do this boss until later on in the game. I, it would suck if I had to. It would really suck if I had to. But I might have to. Okay, attack, 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 attack. 
Attack her. She has to recharge now. Attack her. Okay, this is getting risky. Heal. Heal again. And Donald is gonna die in like three seconds. Because that's how Donald works. Donald dies instantly against anything. Well, not yet, actually, no! Okay, I'm doing alright. I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I could be doing better. But this fight is actually one of the hardest fights in Kingdom Hearts 1. Sephiroth? Hmm, not even hard. Oh, Hyper Beam! And Hyper Beam killed both of them. Hmm. Great! Absolutely amazing. You're not doing shit, Ursula. Oh, you are attacking me with lightning. Okay, now that, that makes a little more sense. I was gonna say, no, I actually said. She's not doing shit, but she was doing shit, but not herself. She let her magic do shit. Which I guess is fine. No! That would have killed me. If that wouldn't have glitched out like that, that would have killed me. I want to be able to attack her whole body rather than only her face. I'm screwed. If she gets me, I'm screwed. Okay, Mega Potion. I want Donald and Goofy to be alive. Just do a little bit of extra damage like this, and then we'll be fine. Hyper Beam. Oh, that's a good way to dodge Hyper Beam, actually, yeah. That's a really good way, because you can't look down like that. Okay. Have to remember that. Oh no! Forgot about that attack. Yeah, that's an attack where she summons a lot of lightning and you have to get the fuck out of there. Okay, one more and a little bit to go. Just healing. Okay, we we can totally do this. One ball left and I've got a mega elixir even. So and I've been wasting items, frankly. I've been wasting them. I could have used them more effectively. Okay, getting the fuck out of there. This is one of the hardest boss fights again. Um that's a really good way to hide from the hyper beam attack. And then attack her. Okay. Down to one bar. She's down to one bar. I can do this. I can totally do this. No. You don't. Don't eat me. You're scary enough as this. Don't eat me. Okay. You're gonna do the nothing again. Which is like to Nazar. Or jar, or whatever. Oh, that didn't do nearly as much as I expected it to. And you're gonna be thundering again. I should be healing, and... Oh, you didn't die of that. Uh, again? You just did that. Can you please stop doing that twice in a row? That's annoying. Oh, hyper beam. Yeah, I'm behind her back. I'm behind her. I can do so much damage right now. And there's no risk whatsoever. You see, that did a lot of damage. Healing, healing, healing. Good, that would have killed me otherwise. Half a bar left. A little more. But half a bar left. About. Okay, I'm behind her and she's doing the hyper beam attack. Come on. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, I've totally got this. I've totally got this. And let's go on behind her back. Let's get back and... Talking about backs. I. Yeah, you're not sucking me in like this. No, you're not. Because I'm behind your head. And you can't hit me behind your back. Well, I can't really hit you either, but... I really don't care, just just attack. At this point I am not able to lose this anymore. Well, I say that. But that would have killed me. You do, you just go ahead and kill her, Goofy. 
Okay, at this point, one more combo. One, two. Yes, I killed her. Leveled up. Max items and max MP has been increased. Oh, we have to fight them right away without a cutscene. I was expecting a cutscene. These guys can be annoying as fuck. Especially since they really don't take any damage, almost. And they can be really annoying. But once you get them trapped in a combo, it's really not too difficult. As long as the other ones don't screw you over, that is. But you know what's good for that? Yeah, that one. They really can't do shit when you are defense with, with arrow. So yeah. Now it's just beating them up and it's really easy this way. Yeah. Next one. Uh, I think that's Locke we're beating up now, the red one. Ah, uh, that's Barrel. That might be Shock actually, the, the other one. I know this one is Barrel, but I don't know which one is Locke and which one is Shock. I'm just pretending I know shit, but I really don't. Oh, they are back alive now? Or are they just watching us beat up their best friends? One more hit, thank you. Max AP up. Hmm, I can get another ability possibly now. Which is always nice. Okay, so... Um, that's Oogie Boogie. Try to be at the same position as him at any point in time and try to arrow, obviously. Because he can summon uh, Iron Boss and then upper the platform, which means you can directly hit him. You can use Thunder, but really you don't want to do that. So make sure you're at the same position as him, roughly. Once he does this, the lighting up thing of the symbols, you really want to be really close to him. Because he's gonna do it any moment now. Yeah, okay, he got rid of Goofy, but not so much me and Donald, though. Okay, I was about to say, I really need to heal, or don't need to heal me. And he throws you off again, so... Yeah, this boss fight is kind of annoying in that way. And seeing as I'm not overpowered anymore, I gotta do it like four times. Oh god, he does this as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. He throws dices and he does something. In this case, uh, yeah, besides, depending on, yeah, I fucked that up majorly. Depending on what number he dices add up to, he does different things. Oh no. Okay, so you can also throw back the dice to him. And he summons some Harpers now, that's not too bad, that actually gives me some HP back if I'm lucky. It doesn't, okay. Um, I could have sworn it did, apparently it doesn't. Well, really don't care about it whatsoever. Okay, Oogie Boogie, where are you? And we're at the same area. So let's defend ourselves and now beat the shit out of him. Come on. Half a bar down. Totally. And that gave me 2 MP back. That's that's a lot for the few amount of damage I did. Oh no. Oh no, damn it. Oh no, it's going the wrong direction. I don't see when it's coming, so I'm just randomly jumping. Okay, that's a lot better. Now I can actually see what's going. Ow. Oogie Boogie, can we just get over with this? Yeah, you really want him to think that you are not in his reach and then at the last moment go in his reach. Because otherwise it will take a while before he stops running. Okay. And Donald's back with second wind or however it's called. He has 4 HP again. 
Which is amazing! What the hell now? Now it's chopping. Uh, Donald, can you heal me as well? Could use that. Could use a little bit more HP. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm fucked. Damn it. So damn close. That didn't do anything, did it? No. Didn't think it did. Okay, so... I wasted that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, they are gonna shoot. And you can jump over it, but that's really kind of hard. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Hit them. Hit them. Okay, this is bad. This is probably really bad. Wow, that's fast. That's fast. That's really fast. No, damn it. That's really fast. That's really damn fast. I don't like that one bit. Where is Doogie Boo? I didn't even get the chance to walk towards you. That's not fair in any way, shape or form. But then again, it's Oogie Boogie, so why would it be fair? Oh yeah, I'm getting shot at again. Amazing. And I can't see shit. Oh yeah, I can see, but I only have to de walk from him. Or walk off. Which means I don't know what he's doing. And I'd like to know what my enemy is doing. I think he's got a two, so that means... Oh no! That means shit's gonna go down. Oh, that one is so annoying. Oh yeah, I'm at the same position as him. You can't throw him off there. That's something I always tried as a kid to take him with me down, which would be really convenient. Doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Okay, he's chopping, chopping, chopping again. And now light up your thing again so I can kill you. I can't arrow. But I can. I can hit you. And now I should be able to finish you off anyway because thunder. And that finished off, I learned Blitz. I don't know what that does, but it does something. Oh. Okay, everyone. I think there are like 13 of them. Uh, because, I mean, it's Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts has a fetish with you. Number 13, for some reason. Uh, they are really easy to destroy. Again, it's really a gimmicky boss fight and you shouldn't die here. If you die here, you're probably playing on Proud Mount, or you're really, really on the level, or you're really bad at the game, or a combination of the things I just said. And the last, if it's the last one, you will die. If it's the last one, you're on the level, you're bad at the game, and it's Proud Mount, you will die. You will not be able to do this. Uh, but then again, if you're on the level, you're really bad at the game, and you're playing a proud mode, you're probably not even able to get to this point in the game. So, really shouldn't have that much of a problem, should you? No, you shouldn't. Uh, that's three. I'm counting them. This is four. Uh, can we please not get thrown off here, because that would be amazing. It would not be amazing if we got thrown off, don't get me wrong. It would be amazing if we just can stay up here. Uh, why am I losing HP? Uh, this is five? At least I hope it's gonna be five, as long as I don't get thrown off. That's the only thing about this fight which is annoying, uh, which is almost considered my variant of dying, is getting thrown off Oogie Boogie. Because that's really annoying. Uh, this is six, there might be seven of them. Or just six. Maybe that's... Maybe this. Uh, no, there's at least one more. But I wouldn't know where. Yes, I do. Yes, I do know where. 
I think it's somewhere around here. No, this is where I just was. Uh, I missed one. And that just kills me. Hmm. Goofy doesn't need HP. God damn it. So where is the last one? I mean, I'm not missing more than one. There's no way in hell I'm missing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, that's probably the last one. I always miss out on one. I mean, I might have done this once or twice without missing out on anything, but it's really... I never can remember where these things are. And I think this is the seventh one. I never can remember how many there are either. So, yeah, it's the seventh one. And wow, that gave me two levels. And he's a boss. Yeah. And he's a rather annoying boss. Yeah, he can do something really annoying, and I'm gonna be showing you that in a minute. But if you're dropping in a combo like this, he's fucked. No, he's not, because he can't do that, because he's a shadow. Amazing, isn't it? How that works. Yeah. There's a chest over there. I don't know what's in it. I really don't. It's probably something that's not too great. Because I would have remembered it. But being honest, I only remember like one or two chests in this game. Yeah. So, he makes a lot of dual gangers. And, yeah. He does that. And that can throw you... Oh, wait a second. Was it so like that in the original? Where all the fakes have like one HP and he has a full bar? Because that's the way you can detect which one is which. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think that was like that in the original. Might have been. Might have been. Probably was because I can't see them changing stuff like that. This one. That one is it. Why didn't you slide dash, Sora? Oh, damn it. Okay, one ball left. Just about. And he does it again. Yeah, like you can see... I think if you attack the double gangers, you actually deal damage to him as well. You might do. I'd have to look for that. Hopefully he doesn't do the double ganger thing again, but he's about to do it, I think, so... Yeah, he does. I think it does! That's good! That's really, really good. Yeah, as a child I had a really a lot of trouble with this boss fight. Now... Also... Not really a lot of trouble, but it's not easy. In the slightest. That being said, I am talking over it with commentary, which doesn't make it that much easier. It makes it a lot harder to play games while talking. Now really, you don't have to upload it. You don't have to upload it, but do this for at least once. Play a game and try to talk non-stop. Maybe even record it to just look at your result, but try to do that. It is not as easy as you might think it is. Also, I'm playing this rather underleveled, I think. So, well, where is my shadow? Self. Oh, there he is. And he's gone. And there he is again. And he's gone again. You're really annoying, you know? Okay. Where is he? He's right over there. Okay, I can kill him now. Thank you, Donald. I was about to do that myself, and I did it myself, actually. And... Okay. Maximum MP increased and treasure magnet. Because treasure magnet is a useful ability. <laughs> it, it, yeah, obviously. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It, it, okay, wrong boss fight, wrong target, wrong target, right targets. Okay, what you can do is stay midair for the entirety of this fight and he won't do his, like, uh, desperation move. Which means, yeah. How can you stay in midair? You can't fly. You don't have pixie dust like we do. So, yeah. Uh, I might want to arrow, actually, yeah. It doesn't really matter too much, but uh, it helps a little bit at least. I shouldn't get hit too much, anyway, so... I don't know if arrow actually does that much. And attacking him gives you, like, 34 experience, like you uh, probably didn't see, because why would you see something that's on for, like, half a frame and then gone? But that's a lot for just attacking him. Okay. 
I'm wrong. You really want to arrow and cure a lot during this fight because he can be a bitch. But if you got him trapped into a combo, it's really not that bad. Because you can just get him trapped in a combo and kill him like that. I mean, I've gotten him a bar down by now. And he can't do anything when you're here. I mean, yeah, the Heartless can do shit, but I... Who cares about the Heartless, honestly. Okay, he can do that Meteor Shower. This fight isn't as easy as I remembered it being. Uh, I mean, it's still easy, but he can do a lot more than I remember him doing. Okay, this might be why I rem remember him being easy. Because he is really fucking easy once you get him into a combo. And if Donald and Goofy help you out, he doesn't attack whatsoever. He really is a... Wow, this is really easy. Two bars down. <laughs> and this isn't even like a middle fight. This is a full-blown actual boss fight. Uh, I just did that myself, Donald. You didn't have to heal me. Thanks for doing so. But please do it when I actually want you to and not when I'm doing it myself. They better fix it in Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean... It better detect if you're about to heal as well, and if it, if you are, Donald shouldn't be healing you. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 2 does a way better job already, but... I mean, I want Kingdom Hearts 3 to fix it. Also, Half-Life 3! Uh, it has not officially been confirmed, and I just hit my desk, you probably could hear that, but it has been registered, the copyrights for it. And by the time this video goes up, that's old news already, but for everyone who didn't yet know, two levels up. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing, Half-Life 3. So, guess who we gotta fight? Yeah, Riku. Hello, Riku, how are you doing? Okay, let me show you that finishing move. Oh. Okay, it takes some time to perform, and against this quick little boss that's called Riku, maybe not so much. But, yeah, you could see it right there. It, you could barely see it, though. Okay. Okay, this guy might be a little stronger than you will use. Maybe the battle level wasn't that much of a lie, because Riku is pretty fucking tough. He's one of the toughest people in the whole entire game, mainly because he's so damn quick. That might be the reason. That that That's not a might be, that is the reason. He's so damn quick, you can't do shit against him. But you can attack him fairly easily. Which means great experience. Oh no, I don't know what you're about to do, but you are not doing that to me. Also, is this uh, Riku actually a heartless, or is it the real Riku? This is not something I'm just doing for build up, it's, it's something I'm actually wondering. Because if this Riku is a heartless, things might get interesting in Kingdom Hearts 3. If this is just Riku with dark powers over the Heartless, eh, not so much. It's really easy. You can just jump up on the Hydra's back. No. Uh, you can just jump up on this thing. You can also uh, kill the thing and she will come down. You can hit her that way. But honestly, why would you do it like that if you can just jump up? I mean, if you, for some reason, unequipped heart, uh, Heartless now, high jump, you could not get up here, I suppose, but why would you do that, honestly? Yeah, she does that meteor attack. Uh, yeah. Might want to look out for that. Okay, when she does that, you can still get up on it, I think. No, you can't. Well, in that case, let's just kill this. This platform. Oh, you can get up on it. Okay. That's, that's good. That's really good. Okay, we're almost one bar down. And I'm gonna heal. So she turns into fire. Don't exactly know how that works. But she does. And now you can hit this again. But I come back here. You can also jump on up, up on uh, this. Yeah. How's it called even? A platform? Yeah. It's a platform. It's not anything more than just a platform is it? No. It's a magical platform. It's something more than just a regular platform. It's a magical platform. I think I can jump up on it. No, I can't. That's rather annoying. 
Let's just get rid of this platform. One more combo should do it. One hit. Okay, now you can go absolutely apeshit on her. Okay. I didn't really predict that. I predicted her to just die now. Uh, can you please heal me as well, Donald? Would be amazing. Yeah, I was about to say she can revive her... Did I just level up mid-battle? Um, I don't know how that works. But I probably killed like a heartless or something. But was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, she can revive her platform thingy. And... Oh yeah, I was about to do it myself, but thanks, Donald. And she'll just be able to move again. Yeah, when she turns into fire, the platform throws you off. Don't like that. Being thrown off by a platform. Can we please get up on it? No, we can't. She's a little too high. Just, just a tad bit. Oh, uh, but the platform is almost dead already, so one more combo should be able to do it. Yeah, okay. We will probably be able to kill Maleficent like this now. If I could have done that final attack. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, with Super Glide you are able to keep up with it, probably. But you can't have Super Glide this uh, early in the game, so how would I know? Other than, like, cheating Super Glide in, which I never did. Should have, but I never did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock onto Maleficent and hit the platform in the meantime. I might be able to get a hit on her this way. Probably I'm not, but might be. And now I'm immediately locked onto her. That also helps a lot. And now she's gonna summon Heartless. Okay, I was expecting her to do the medial thing. Okay, she's dying. She's not dying because she threw me off. The battery of controller 1 is low. Well, I'm gonna stop recording after this battle. I know that much. Uh, I might... No, I can't switch controllers. I have to finish this battle quickly and then end off the recording. I want to record for a little longer, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Okay, this should almost be dead, this platform. This combo should kill it. Okay, this one combo, come on. Didn't kill it? What? How much HP does it have? Okay, it's dead now. Okay, one more. This should be... Okay. I'm just gonna thumble her face now. Where is she? There she is. Thunder. One more thunder, and that killed her. Max AP. I gained two levels in this fight. That's amazing. Microphone. I, I hope I don't forget to filter out all the noise. And Well, not actually filter it out, but more like just completely mute that part. And also this... Ooh, this one has uh, the, the, the vibration function. I'm using a different controller, because... If you remember the last episode, we had a little bit of trouble with my control being like, yeah, your battery is gonna go and die on you any second now, and I had to stop recording. And apparently that same battery has not recharged one bit. Apparently it doesn't recharge when your PlayStation 3 is not turned on. Did not know that fact. I mean, USB loaders normally work when your PC is not turned on because hell it does have uh, electricity running through it so yeah I figured PlayStation probably the same apparently it isn't apparently you need to have it turned on in order for it to actually charge so that controller is charging now and I'm using a different one god god thank I actually have a different one having two controllers isn't really about playing with friends it's more like yeah just in case anything ever fucks up with one uh, controller. Did I call it a recorder? I think I did. 
Yeah, you still have a backup. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Also, this boss isn't due too hard. The real hard boss is gonna be in a second. And I'll have you guys guess what it is. I mean, if you can't think of it, it's... I mean, it's pretty obvious. Just gonna point that out. It's pretty fucking obvious what it is. Or rather, who it is, but yeah. I think you guys probably should know by now. And if you don't... I don't remember if I did, but I think I wasn't surprised when I first saw it. You will see in a second. I mean, I'll probably try and attempt to kill him. I, I mean, defeat him uh, this episode. And I'm just giving it away, calling it him and stuff. And yeah, but honestly, I also call this dragon him. Okay, it's Riku. I mean, are you really surprised? Are you? As a kid, I found a way to glitch out this battle where Maleficent could not hit you, not even with a fire attack. Don't quite remember how it works anymore, but it's, it's got something to do with standing on these roots, but it might not actually work in the Final Mix version. Because I never played Final Mix. That's why I never defeated the uh, Ansem, uh, not Ansem, Xamnas boss fights. Because I never played Final Mix. Because I don't live in Japan. And I don't think the PS2 was region locked actually. But even then, I don't order my game from Japan. Because I don't speak Japanese. And I didn't really see the point in buying a fucking game for one boss fight and like two Keyblades. Yeah. Didn't order Final Mix 2 either. I did play it though. Wait a second. No, no, no. PS2 is region locked. It is, because I can't play Retrain of Memories on my PS2. I have actually never played that game. I bought it from America, and I couldn't fucking play it. So yes, it is region locked. And after this Let's Play, I'm going to be Let's Play in Retrain of Memories in HD, which has been included in this wonderful HD remake. And that'll be the first time I actually play Re-Chain of Memories. I mean, I've completed the original Chain of Memories a couple times, like twice, I think. Maybe three times, I'm not entirely sure. But this will be the first time I play Remake for longer than like 10 minutes. Because I played it on an emulator and it just wouldn't work out. It would keep crashing and then I, then I bought the disc. And then I figured, well, I don't want to play this game anyways. I really did, but my computer couldn't really handle playing a PS2 emulator for too, too long. Didn't help, I wanted to run it at 1080p. Gotta admit that. I probably should have run it at like 480p. Oh damn it, oh damn it, oh damn it, I am so dead. I am not, I am a hero. A mega potion, yeah, mega potion. You guys, kill her. Kill, fucking kill her. Yeah, you can glide if you want, but you just have to kill her. She's dragon type, she should be... Do we have a fairy? Come on, do we have a fa Oh yeah, actually we do, we do have a fairy, but I can't summon her. Damn it. Well, it's a pixie, not really a fairy, but yeah. By the time this goes up, Pokemon X and Y have already been released, and I probably would have completed it by now. I think I like it. This, this is recorded like October 7th? Yeah, 7th? And this is going up on, I don't know, way later than that. I think somewhere around... I'm not gonna say anything because I, I'm i gonna be wrong. I'm gonna be wrong. I think it's gonna be October... No. But, oh, that's... Damn it. Good. So... I think this was intended to be... Spoilers, by the way. I think this Keyblade was intended to be part of the... Kai blade or the axe blade, how or just the key blade, however you like to call it. Uh, that would mean they had to come up with the whole idea of the axe blade by like ten years before they actually used it in their story. I doubt it, but they could fit it in within the lore because it's a dark key blade made with uh, seven pure hearts of light. I mean, that would fit into the lore. Honestly, I'm doing a massive amount of damage against him. He's also doing a massive amount of damage against me, so we're equal. At the end of the day, these are two equal rivals with some dark powers on Riku's sides. But I, I've got some light powers, I suppose. 
No, I really don't. I'm, I'm just Pujova, who has a Keyblade. I mean, the Keyblade, the Keyblade wasn't even a, uh, uh, originally supposed to be Sora's, but Riku's. Like, Riku stated, and it was just like, the first time you hear that in, uh, in this game, it's like, yeah, Riku, you're just a, a asshole, but it's actually the case. I know I'm telling a lot of spoilers in this fight, but it's actually the case. The Riku was intended. The Riku now, the Keyblade was intended for Riku and not for Sora. Also, I'm almost done with him, and he hasn't done his Dark Aura attack. Yet. Uh, I think he's gonna do it any minute now, if I'm being unlucky. Yep, there he goes, and he won't stop the first, like, 10 hours now. Because it, once he does this, you are absolutely screwed. The, the more he does it, the more he will do it, that's how it works. Most annoying mechanic ever. If he does it twice, the chance he will do it becomes bigger. If he does it another time, two level ups. Wow. If he does it one more time, the chance will get even bigger and bigger and bigger every time he does it. And at some point, he's just not gonna stop doing it. Well, I am going to have to do the Hades Cup. Forgot about that. Totally forgot about it. Okay, you can get up on his back and just hit his horn. This fight is so damn easy. Like, not even funny. It's that easy. I just took out about bar of his health, maybe actually t were it two bars? I think it was a bar. Let's say a bar and a half. Without doing shit. No, it was a bar. Okay, once he gets up again, he is going to do some Yeah, like that. Okay, wanna heal? After this, after we Oh damn, no. Yeah, that's an annoying attack. Now it's gonna rain meteors. Amazing. Okay, can I please get up on your back again? I would really appreciate getting back on your back. Getting back on his back. Yes, I, I actually said that. Deal with it. He, oh no, you're dying. You... No, well, you're not dying, but... Okay, that works. That works out amazingly. Okay, attack his horn. He's down to a bar and a half almost. I say when he's at, like... Just a little less than two bars. Yeah, that's how that's how I can see it on my health. It's like, yeah, it's less than two bars, so it's bar and a half at most. Yeah. Okay, now it's about a bar and a half. This attack is so damn annoying. I don't know why they include well, I know why they included it, because it's damn annoying, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Can I get up on his back? Get up on the behemoth's back. I'm, I know I say that about everything, but really, it just annoys the fuck out of me in Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay. This combo should be... Well, this combo... These combos should be able to finish him off. It isn't enough, though. Getting up on his back once more. Good. Goofy, attack him. You're up on his back. Attack him now. Getting up on his back to kill him. Okay, one more hit. And be haste. That's a good ability. This is an amazing fight. I love it so damn much. Also, arrow. It reminds me of Maga Ursula. In the sense that when you're behind his head, he can't do shit. And he's really easy. <laughs> you have to watch out though if he does that. And when he's on lower HP. This one is really easy. Um, it will be like a super powerful version of that. And you will die almost instantly. And I'll be able to show you that now. Yeah. You're not gonna uh, survive that. Not in a million years. And his fire breath again. Which I really don't care about because I'm just attacking him from the back. Uh, is that the... No, that isn't the attack I'm thinking about. Yeah, okay, that was the attack I'm thinking about. Oh, this was the attack I'm thinking about. Uh, you will see in a second, probably. He fires, like, little laser balls at you. Oh, no! I'm screwed. I'm screwed. 
I'm not so screwed, apparently, because Arrow saved my life, like always. No need to heal there, but just to be safe. Okay, one ball left. This fight isn't that hard, like you can see, if you do it right, like I do, apparently. Okay, um, that was too close. That was too close. That could have killed me. No, I want to hit you! Okay. Attack him. We can kill him. We can kill him. Thank you. That was clo- 9000 experience. Really now. Wow. So that, that was actually my voice in the waveform. We're fighting Ansem, Seeker of Darkness now. And like you can see, he has a Guardian. Uh, yeah, that's someone we will get to know. That Guardian is actually someone who's heartless. Kind of. It's kind of complicated, actually. And uh, yeah, he's not too hard to defeat. The Guardian can be really annoying when he does that because, well, he just defends his master. That's why he's annoying. But honestly, you deal a lot of damage against him. It's like, yeah, he's zero defenses. Uh, that being said, zero defenses. His guardian is his defense. So that makes up for it, I guess. Oh no, he's gonna be submitting, I think. Yeah, submitting is an annoying attack where guardian gets attached to you and holds you. And he can- and Anthem can just attack you. Uh, okay, he missed that one. I kinda want to show it to you, but at the same time, I really don't feel like showing any of that stuff to you guys, because I will probably die. Okay, two bars left. That wasn't that hard, was it? Yeah, attacking him is really not that hard, and it gives a fuckload of experience. Every single experience point you get here is useless. And again, he missed. I'm getting so damn lucky. Because you can't save after uh, defeating this boss fight. So, every boss fight you fight here gives like 10,000 experience, worthless, you can't, well not worthless, but you can't really grind up on it, seeing as how you can't save that experience. So, I would grind up here, but it's not possible. You see, 10,000 experience, especially the last like 20 seats. Um, can we please lock onto his head? Yeah. If you finish a combo, you get tech experience from his head? I never knew that. Oh, I can get to his head now. No, I want to get to his head. Thank you. Wow, he's almost dead already. He doesn't really have that much experience, uh, experience HP, does he? Oh no, not this, not this attack. Oh, damn it, yeah, it's this attack. It's a little bit like, uh, be uh, Behemoth? Um, Behemoth, I think it was called. Oh, Stun Impact. Like Stun Impact so much. I might want to heal up, actually, yeah. He, you know what? Stun Impact looks cool, and it can be kind of useful, but it's really not that powerful. I want to use Stun Impact all the time, because I like Stun Impact so much. Okay, Darkseid, you're dying. That's that. That's not like... I think that's also like 5,000 experience or so. And some Seeker of Darkness. Again. But this time it's a 1v1. And he might be a little stronger. Not sure. It's the same music I... I'm pretty sure as the Riku fight. I wanted to uh, let you guys listen to it. But go back to the Riku fight if you want to listen to it. Because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same music. Maybe it's remixed a little bit though, but I don't think it is. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, this fight isn't too easy apparently. No, I'm lying. This fight is damn easy. I can even attack him when he's uh, behind his guardian. Only if you do it properly though, but you can do it. You can pull that off, and it's not that difficult. Oh yeah, this. Okay. Dodge roll away. Never stop dodge rolling with this. 
don't. Don't stop dodge rolling. If you continue mashing the square button, you will be alive. Yeah, like that. And then attack him. No, don't submit. Oh yeah, that attack. No, 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 no. Oh, I just attacked that. Wow. I, I, I meant to block, but do I even have block? I don't think I do. I think I never equipped that because never, no one ever you. Oh, I do have guards on. Well, that's useless. Again, submit misses. I, I'm not sure how this works, but I'm getting really lucky. I was expecting this to be like a one hour episode. Probably not gonna be like this. Yeah, not by a long shot. Oh, finally submit hit for once. I don't want you to freeze me. No, don't freeze. Um, thank you. I want to open my heart to you, but... No, I don't actually. No, I don't. Call him back. Good, and you died. Sora's strength went up. That's 20,000 experience. Again. Let's try it again. This time beginning with Arrow, even before we enter the fight. And uh, yeah, like I said, you can't attack him. He's just gonna go on attacking him. Uh, attacking you, me, I don't know. Attacking someone. Die, motherfucker. Okay, so this isn't too hard. As long as you try to not get hit by the lasers, because they are the things that fuck you over. Ansem, he's annoying, but the lasers are the thing that actually fuck you over. But the lasers are like... Yeah, 99% of the time. So, I don't remember him doing that attack. Okay. This is going rather quickly. It's worrying me how quickly this is going because that probably means I'm gonna die horribly. Because every time I have luck, bad luck just follows. That's just how it works. Okay. Less than two bars left. A bar and a half left. I know you guys can just look at the uh, top left corner and see how many bars he has left, but that's the only thing I can say at this point. Because otherwise I will probably die if I don't concentrate right now. Heal good, and now... I can finish him off. I can fucking finish him off. For fuck's sake! Die! Thank you! Did that give me any experience whatsoever? I don't think it did. Pretty sure it didn't. Those things, yeah. We have to take them out. Oh, no, I didn't get anyone back. I will get Goofy or Donald. I'm not sure which one back in a second here. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, these things aren't too hard to kill, but man, they can be a pain... Because they ha deal a lot of damage. I won't say they have a lot of HP, but they deal a lot of damage against you, which results in you having not a lot of HP. Like, not, so so few HP, so, so little HP that you just die. Because that's what happens when you run out of HP, you die. I want the HP bar for a real life. I mean, that would be amazing. Um... It's not too hard to kill, really. It's just, yeah, doing that. And uh, yeah, he throws some lightning at you, but if you really watch your HP and heal in time, shouldn't be too much of a problem, really. Okay, maybe you want to get away from him every now and then. Also, watch your arrow. Because if it runs out, you're fucking dead. Okay, I might want to go away, get myself an Aether. Or a Mega Potion. Also works. Oh, I don't know what that did, but it looked powerful. Okay. Again, just half a bar left. Uh, yeah, this one is the easiest fight of them all. He says, while well, he's fucking die. Don't even bother with it. Just... Attack the weird face thing. Kill that. 
You have to kill this. That's everything you have to do. I don't know how this is a final boss fight. I mean, yeah, it's epic and all, but it's not, like, difficult. Not in the slightest. I mean, the first fight we had against Ansem in, like, this scene was kind of difficult because you were alone. And he's a bitch. Now with full MP and HP, let's go and get him. Again, this time, I shouldn't die. In theory. In theory, I shouldn't die. Okay, now heal. Heal! Fucking hell. I'm not gonna die again. Not like that. No, I'm not. Mega Atha. Um, I don't need a high potion. He's still in my MP away. That's what he's doing. Okay. Guardian steals your MP. That's so damn low. You're really a bitch like that, aren't you? Thank you, what did you do? You used Atha. Not like it matters because he's gonna steal my MP away, so... He has only one bar left, I just noticed. I told you, this fight is pretty fucking easy. And that's that. Maximum AP increase, because that matters. That was the final boss fight, guys. That was the very last boss fight. A mm, bands, I don't think I have. So this might actually kill me first time around, because uh, when I practice this, I have my blizzard gun band on. And, wow, my attack is... My attack is... Wow. Why is it 75? Did I equip another attack boost? Because that's useless, because I'm what, level 100. Yeah, I actually am. Can you believe it? That was perfect. That was damn right perfect. Okay. I don't like those ones. I like the ones where he throws five at you, which hit at the same exact time. Because it's way easier to block. So that's how you have to beat this boss. Yeah, you have to block those icicle... Uh, um, things and count them back at them. They'll hit him, and at some point he will uh, get knocked out, and you can actually hit him yourself. And you have to, yeah, heal a lot. So bring an Athos, preferably even Alexis with you. Not a bad idea. Okay, so that happens, and then you can go to him and hit the crap out of him. Like you can see, that does a lot more damage. Like a lot. Not even kidding. That did about two bars. At least a bar and a half. And then he goes all apeshit rage and you have to run for your fucking life. Or glide. One or the other. And he gets a little more aggressive now whenever he uh, turns around. He shoots uh, Ice Jew as well. And he gets a couple new attacks. Normally they get at it one by one, but I did just a huge amount of damage, so they throw them all at me at the same time. But normally he starts doing those uh, ice uh, cubes above your head and then his frost breath. But in my case, all at the same time because I did a huge amount of damage. He's gonna do even more annoying attacks. Uh, you will see in a moment. He's got 3 HP bars left, so... It's probably going to take quite a while to get rid of him. Because I can't hit him, apparently. Okay. Less than three bars to go now. God damn it. Come on. Th this isn't hard. It's just annoying if he doesn't do the attacks you want him to do. Not hard in the slightest. It's pretty fucking easy as a matter of fact. Normally it is. When he attacks you like he should, like this. Preferably the other attack, but I, that one works. Yeah, this one is one of the ones that I prefer. And that is what happens when you are in the actual Frost Breath. 
You get frozen for a second or two. Okay, almost half a bar down. Oh, I thought he was gonna get down. Well, apparently he isn't. If you stay too long at one position, his uh, ice will get strong and you won't be able to block it anymore. Don't seem to have that problem just yet, but maybe we will at some point, maybe we won't. I'm actually hoping we won't have that problem. Okay, go towards him and fucking smash his face in. Just kill him. He's down to his uh, second to last bar. Probably cannot... Okay, a bar and a half left. A bar and a half left. That's good. Okay, he's going all apeshit now. Okay, now he's probably gonna start doing that attack. His last attack. Yeah, he is. Where he just does that. And if you get trapped in it really badly, you're just dead. It's just a fact. You're just dead. Okay. From here on out, it shouldn't be much of a problem anymore. So what's your reward for killing this boss? Might as well talk, start talking about that. In the original Kingdom Hearts, nothing. It's just an optional boss, it's just for fun. In this uh, version of the game, uh, you get a achievement for it, a trophy, obviously. And you get a, a Keyblade, because it's the Final Mix version. And in Final Mix, you get the Diamond Dust Keyblade, which is, if I am not mistaken, the best magical Keyblade in the game. Possibly, maybe not. I don't know if Ultima Weapon is better than it. Because Ultima Weapon is damn right impossible to get in this game. No, 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 you don't. Okay, I'm getting frozen. No, I'm just out of reach, okay. Okay, if you do it correctly, you can block both of those attacks like you just saw. It's kind of hard to do. Okay, he's dead. He is dead. I think you can also use fire on him and it's really strong, but honestly, use your MP for curing, but because fire just is not working now. If I can't take on Sephiroth, I can't take on Xamnas. And I can't take on Sephiroth, I know that at level 100 should be a joke. And this going should be a joke. You see, fire doesn't do nearly as much damage now. Fire a 40 win. Uh, fire a band, I mean, 40 win. Okay, now let's get away and heal. Good. Okay, I need arrow. I need arrow as soon as I can. Good. Get out of here. Arrow. Now attack again. Attack. I can't see. Okay, I can see again. I don't care about your fire. I've got fire resistance. And I think Dark even. Oh no, that was Ifrit's horn, isn't it? Okay, might want to heal up after this. Uh, okay, one bar down, one heal up now. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Now I want to heal up. What you can do, by the way, is when he does that, you cannot thunder him. I remember being able to thunder him, but you can't, apparently. Okay, now he's gonna do this. That's annoying as fuck. Okay, just Aether, just in case. I remember you being able to thunder him. But apparently you can't. Maybe you only can in Kingdom Hearts 2. Maybe, possibly. Yeah, I think that might be it. As long as you're not using Tinder Canem, I'm fine with it. Everything is all fine and dandy until you use that attack, because that is one hell of an attack. But he's already down to just a HP bar and a bit. Now he's going into a Super Saiyan mode though, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, and Meteors. You want to jump because there's no way you can attack, uh, avoid it otherwise. Stay behind him. Stay close to Sephiroth and try to stay behind him because that's the only way you can dodge this attack. It's kind of hard to dodge it. I. Normally don't manage to dodge it. I did now, for some apparent reason. I don't know how I did. <laughs> because normally I don't manage to avoid it at all. Okay, I'm doing great. Only a little more than HP while left. If you use Cinder Cane in, uh, now, I will be pissed off though. Because I think he still can. Okay, less than a bar left. No, you're not. You are dead. You're dead. No, you're dead. No, you're dead. 
Okay. I think I killed him. I did. He looks really intimidating, but honestly, look at this. In a second, when you can actually see his HP go down, it's ridiculous how fast it goes down. Uh, he has a lot of HP though. A lot of it. And he falls over. And you're thinking, oh, so you can only do damage when you hit his head. No, you can't. No, that's not the that's not your thing. But look how fast it goes down for the boss of the Hades Cup. That being said, I am level 100. I am fully aware of this, but still, it's kind of ridiculously easy. Once you get up on his head, it's even easier because he doesn't really throw you off that easily. He just keeps you up here if you're doing it good. He can bend over and. You will fall. Up, you will fall off. But honestly, see, I've almost entirely killed him while I was up here. Now he's gonna be falling down and kill him. Okay, what does he do? Uh, think about just in time. You can't use magic in his first phase, so you really want Tinkerbell to be there to heal you. You either do this really at the right, right at the start of the battle or afterwards, after the first phase. But I prefer doing it at the start of the battle. Uh, yeah. It really doesn't matter too much what level you are at this point. Uh, because these things always take the same amount of damage, it seems like. At least to me it does. Maybe they actually don't. So yeah, they drop HP orbs and potions. Those balls. Uh, okay. Can we please... Kill that little ball. Thank you. One more hit. Come on. Like you can see, I can use no magic. Can I please hit that thing? Thank you. Okay, now you can hit the snake hat within the big armor. Which is what gives you... Uh, which the actual boss. And he gives you a lot of attack HP. Um, uh, experience. P. That was what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, when you're level 100, this isn't too hard at all. This is pretty easy. That was like three bars down. This one, you can't hit with melee, so you have to use magic. And preferably uh, Graviga, I think. I think you might. Um, let me see. Yeah, Graviga, preferably. Preferably Graviga. Or is Graviraga? Graviga. I mean, Donald knows he has to use Graviga, which is really nice. Can we please use Graviga for a second here? Thank you. Like, one more time. Okay, now you can hit him again. And this might be his last face. It might be. Probably won't be. No, it won't. And now he goes all Super Saiyan again, and you can't heal. But that's why Tinkerbell is full. Because Tinkerbell will heal you. But I think Tinkerbell will be dismissed any second now. This is the part where most people die, because Tinkerbell is gonna be gone in a second. And you can't heal. So potions are a good idea. And his attacks got a little bit upgraded since the beginning of the battle. That's also a little bit of an issue. But hey, really still not that bad. Not at level 100 at least. The next boss is way worse because you can only use certain types of magic against it. And you need a buttload of uh, Athos or Alexus in order to actually finish off that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, one hit. That'll be the end of Kurt Caesar, if I can hit him once. Tinkerbell's still not gone. Stays with you for quite a while. Okay. That's the end of Kurt Caesar. We've got him. We've got him. He's dead. He's dead. Good. That's Kurt Caesar done. These videos won't be too long. I know. <laughs> I'm f he summons his heart. Uh, let me share that to you in a second. Oh no, what you have to do firstly is he curses one of your team members and you have to cast stop on that thing. Good, 
Then he summons his heart, and I think that's his normal heart, which you, yeah. Uh, depending on which uh, heart, uh, which color heart he uses, you have to use a certain uh, kind of magic. And then if it's white, you have to hit it. Now it's yellow, so Thunder got it, bitch. Yeah, that's how it works. And he can actually attack you as well. So, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, now Blizzards. Blizzard guy. Blizzard guy really easily misses though, so this is gonna be a bitch to hit. And then you can just hit him. This fight takes quite a while, if you hadn't noticed already. Blizzard guy. It can take quite a while. Sometimes it's over really, really quickly. Because you get lucky. And we have to stop the clock again. Peter Pan is gonna die. You really need to top guard for this. But oh, I think you get stop and not arrow upgrade for this. Hmm. Would suck. Because I really need arrow raw. At least. Preferably arrow gar. But I think you get... Uh, you get arrow upgrades from Winnie the Pooh. Which, for your records, I'm not gonna be doing. <laughs> okay, well, we're almost two bars down. Well, a little more than a bar at this point, actually. But... Oh, thank you for the arrow, mate. Yeah, okay, just a normal one. Just a white one, which means... Okay, red ones means fire, red ones means fire, blue ones mean blizzard, you're not moving yet, I want to heal, red ones means, f oh fire, no, damn, I want fire, thank you, good, doing fine. Oh, Peter Pan just died, I was just a second too late. That's gonna suck. That's gonna suck so badly. Okay, this is gonna suck so badly. Please let Donald be the uh, next victim and not me. It's probably gonna be me, isn't it? I think he actually prefers to take out your team members before you. So, I think he actually does it like that. He might not. I hope he does. Because Donald is kind of useless. He heals me, yeah. And he can sometimes cast the right magic, but honestly, don't bother with Donald. <laughs> you want Donald just in case he casts the right magic, but he won't, so. Okay, stop with moving, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. That worked, apparently, for some reason. I feel like he is going to cast something on Donald's. So let's just stop. Stop that clock. Let's just do that. Yeah. Please can you... Thank you. Fire. Blizzard. Okay. We can see his last bar. Which is... Still more than a bar and a half left. Yeah, okay, hit him. Good. Little over bar and a half. What are you gonna be doing? What are you gonna be doing? You're gonna throw fire at me, which I really don't give a damn about, honestly. Fire! Hitting. Good. Clock still uh, not moving. Mice. Healing. Ather. Hit him, just hit him. Just hit him, for fuck's sake. Hit him! Okay, Thunder. You might want to make shortcuts to Fire and Blizzard for this one. I forgot to. Magic, stop. When it hits at 12 o'clock again, or... Uh, I don't think it's 12 o'clock actually, no. But when it hits um, a full hour again, he starts... Uh, 
crossing Donald, which I really don't want to happen. Even though I said Donald is kind of useless, he might do something good every now and then. So, really want to look out for that. Magic, Blizzard. Another Blizzard. And guess what? Yet another Blizzard. Less than a bar left. Which is good. It's That's really good. Uh, another Aether. Last Aether I have. After this, all my Aethers are gone. I don't care about him cursing Donald at this point. Okay. About half a bar left. This is going so damn well. Okay. I do care about... About Donald. A little bit. I was joking when I said I don't care about him. I do. I do really care about Donald. He might just save my life at some point. Don't know, but he might. He just might do that. Okay. Thunder. Thunder. Okay, one or two more hits. That's all I can actually do, so... Oh, damn, I missed that fire. I'm so screwed. Damn it, Donald! I mean, thank you, but damn it! One more hit. I need one more hit on him. One more damn hit. I hope the next one is gonna be white. Because otherwise, I am damn fucked. Oh, no. Hitting me actually gives me MP. Okay, no, I won this fight. Okay, I think he, I paralyzed him. I am stuck in this attack, but I managed to paralyze him. He doesn't have more... Uh, it, he has less HP boss than uh, Sephiroth and Rock Titan. And Hades. He's much more powerful, but he has less HP. Which kind of makes sense, because Rock Titan is a fucking Titan. Oh, um... Let's not forget about this this time. Tinkerbell. Kind of want to do that. Still didn't put on the short animations for summons. How amazing. I told you this video would be a little longer. I mean, if I die again, I'll probably just speed it up. Uh, if I die more than once from now on. Well, already? Are you kidding me? Um, can we release? Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks. I kind of want to be released. I kind of want to be released right now. Release me, thank you. Okay. Oh no, that to that totally got you. That totally got you. Don't pretend like it didn't. That totally got you. You just don't want to admit that gravity got you. Okay. I want to heal. I want to use that. Okay, that finishing combo doesn't matter, because you're not finishing any combos against him. You're just not. Stop doing that, you fucking... Oh, that was actually very lucky. Okay, yeah. That totally got you, don't pretend like it didn't. Again, that too. Totally got you. You should be paralyzed right now. Or stunned or whatever. One bar left. And haven't used second chance yet, but last time I used second chance in the last bar and died. So Again, totally got you, but you are just a fucking cheater and you won't admit I got you. I keep getting you with uh, gravity, but you just won't admit it. And that was really lucky, I just pressed X randomly because I already forgot I was shocked. Or shocked or whatever that's called. Oh, that... Come on, that was a gravity move. I think it only works up till a certain point or something, maybe. 
No, you you are dying, Zamnus. You are fucking dead. No, you don't. Come on, that that must have gotten you. <laughs> like really badly. Okay, no, just kill him. Just kill him. And I don't think. No, I'm not dying. No, I'm not dying. Oh, second chance. God damn. God thank. Without second chance, I would have died there. What? Totally got you. Thank you. Thank you for actually dying after 20 times.